Welcome to the channel. How's everybody doing? Today we're playing Bassmasters Fishing 2022. We're in the Bassmasters Open, the Lake Guntersville Pro Challenge. This is the Grand Slam of Fishing. So the object is to catch one of each of the three species, largemouth, smallmouth, and spotted bass. So I was unable to catch a smallmouth bass this go around, but I did manage to win the tournament by catching a monster largemouth and a very nice trophy spotted bass. Ended up catching a striped bass at right towards the end. I wasn't sure if I was going to be able to get it in before the clock ran out, but I managed to pull my PB striped bass, 62 pounds and 14 ounces. It put up quite a fight. So let's take a look at some of the action big from fish, today's fish event. No so right now I am fishing right by the boat landing in Lake Guntersville. So right here, there's an underwater artificial fish habitat. And I have a link, I'll put it in the description below. It is a hot spot for Lake Guntersville. It shows the location of this artificial fish habitat and also some of uh, my favorite locations for bass and other species fishing. But this little spot right here has put up quite a few bass in the boat and I really do like it. So during the daytime, you can really see that artificial habitat, but you can't get snagged on it, so don't get too close to it. Here we go, fish on. Fish on, baby. Pull on some drag, so we gotta lower the drag. Lower, no, now we gotta raise it back up, lower it too much. So don't be scared to increase that drag and pull on those small fish, especially during a tournament. Time is key, so if I try sometimes to not set the hook if I know it's a catfish or something, but sometimes you don't see it or you don't know where it is because it hit it so quick that it hasn't had time for the underwater camera to switch views. Nice spotted oh, bass. Boy, so that is two shot, fish on the board. Super. Here's where I'm fishing at. Looking for a small mouth bass to complete the Grand Slam, but got snagged a bunch of times running my deep water crankbaits at this little spot right here but that's okay don't be scared scared money don't make money so let's catch a big old bass and i'll show you the video clip from that big old striped bass coming up here shortly Nick-nack, fatty-whack, give that hog a bone. So this little girl right here gives me a few more ounces to put on the board. So I am sitting in first place. Let's take a look at this big old PB striped bass. Put up a nice fight. Took me a good run. It went out almost 50 yards before I can start pulling in some of the line. See my hook set is down there just flashing red. So I'm in danger of losing this beast. I was trying to quickly get it in because I know the time was running out and when the time runs out it just ends. So there's no continue. So I only have one minute left and I think I can get him in before the clock ticks down. So in the tutorial it did say that you have to return to the boat dock during certain qualifying bass tournaments but on this one and the college one you do not have to so I'm able to stay on the water to last second fishing very nice so I've got 6291 cash and a few followers very nice I love this big old striped bass 
This would look great in a trophy lodge if the Bass Masters Fishing had one. So I did manage to win the tournament. Got some nice bass on the board. So won the tournament. What a day. Thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed. Do me a favor. Hit that like and subscribe button. Keep on fishing. Don't be scared. Drop a comment below. Let me know what you've been catching. What's your favorite lake? So, so far, Lake Gunnersville has been one of my favorite places. But Toledo Bend's coming in second.